Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Malone and I'm here to lead you through our night with composer Henry Mancini on what would have been his 100th birthday. And very likely, as soon as I said the words Henry Mancini, your brain thought of the theme song for our first movie. It's The Pink Panther, directed by Blake Edwards from 1963. By this point, Blake Edwards had worked with Henry Mancini several times on the films Operation Petticoat, Days of Wine and Roses, and Breakfast at Tiffany's. And for both Days of Wine and Roses and Breakfast at Tiffany's, Mancini had not only composed the score, but had also created a memorable song with lyrics by Johnny Mercer. And Mancini had also written the score and theme song for Edward's TV series, Peter Gunn, making Henry Mancini quite pivotal to bringing the creations of Blake Edwards to life. Mancini started studying music at an early age upon the assistance of his father, and when he saw the Cecil B. DeMille film The Crusades, he decided that he wanted to write music for movies. He studied at Juilliard, but had to abandon his studies when he was drafted into the army during World War II, and while fighting overseas, he met musicians from Glenn Miller's band and got a job with them after the war. He then transitioned to writing for radio shows and then got a job as a composer for Universal Pictures. Once he left that studio, he met Blake Edwards, and a few years later was hired by Edwards to write the score and the theme for The Pink Panther. Mancini's jazzy theme was the perfect way to introduce this spy comedy and the character of the hapless inspector Jacques Clouseau, played by Peter Sellers. This was the first appearance of Clouseau on screen, who is trying to capture a jewel thief, a jewel thief who also happens to be having an affair with Clouseau's wife. Starring David Niven, Robert Wagner and Claudia Cardinale, from 1963, this is The Pink Panther. Composer Henry Mancini earned an Oscar nomination for his score for The Pink Panther, but it was the theme that really became a hit. The song was released as a single and got into the top 10 on Billboard's adult contemporary chart, and Mancini also won three Grammy Awards. The theme has now been included in every subsequent Pink Panther movie and has truly become a part of pop culture. It's instantly recognisable, even if you've never seen the movies. In talking about how he came up with the theme, Mancini said that he first gave the animators a tempo they could use and then scored after he watched the finished sequence. He particularly liked how the movements of the animated panther were timed perfectly to the tempo and knew he wanted the saxophone to be the dominant instrument. Specifically, he knew he wanted the sax player Plaz Johnson. As Mancini said, I nearly always precast my players and write for them and around them, and Plaz had the sound and the style I wanted. All right, from a recognizable theme to a famous song, next in our celebration of Henry Mancini's 100th birthday, we'll watch Audrey Hepburn sing Moon River in a 1961 film directed by Blake Edwards. Next on TCM, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Then two for the road, and later, charade. You guessed it, there's more Mancini on the way.